Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Sajid Mohaimin Choudhury. In this tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you how to activate your Microsoft 365 account and install Microsoft Teams in your computer. Specifically, this video is made for the students and faculty members of my university, Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology, where I'm currently working as an assistant professor in the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. However, this video can be used for any institutional Microsoft 365 activation. Firstly, if I go to my personal email, uh, this is my Yahoo email, I can see that the Microsoft admin has sent me a username and a temporary password for an account. So either the email can come into this form or so the engineers from your IT department can send you a separate email with the username and temporary password. So the username here is the John Doe at buet.ac.bd and temporary password is hashtag uh, stay home stay safe 2020. I'm going to use this account to demonstrate how to activate the Microsoft 365 accounts. So if I go to my web browser, I type in portal.office.com and press enter. So it would ask me to log into my Microsoft online account. I can then go back to my email and then copy the first uh, username and then paste it here. Press next. I can then again go back to my email and then copy the temporary password and paste it in the place of the password. So I don't need to save this initial password as I need to update it immediately. So I again paste the current password and then I have to type in a new password here. So once I type in the new password, I can then uh, save it if I like. So I give the username as John Doe at buet.ac.bd. So I save the password. So now it would ask me that I need to give more information here. So I can then press next. And it would take me to the page where I have to at least uh, add one either telephone number or an email address or both so that if I forget the password I can then use that to authenticate and then reset the password. So I'm going to use my personal email as the password reset here. So if I press email me, it would then send me an email message containing a verification code. I can then go back to my original email and I can see that it ha Microsoft has sent me a Buet account verification email here. So this is the verification code for John Doe at buet.ac.bd. I can select this co code and then paste it here to verify the email. So for now, I it is recommended that you also set up a telephone by clicking set up now and then add your telephone number here as well so that you can reset the password with a SMS in your mobile phone for maximum security. So for now, it's okay if I just add a secondary email to my account, I'm just going to click finish. So if you want to stay in signed in in this account in this browser, you can press yes so that you don't have to type in the password every time you come to this browser. I can press yes here. And now it's uh, just giving you a tour of the Microsoft Office 365 for teaching. And you can just press uh, complete the first run experience or you can just close it here. 
and it would show you the different parts. You can use Microsoft Forms to create the quizzes. You can use OneNote as a photocopier or class notebook and you can use your OneDrive to sync all your documents. By default, your organization will give you one terabyte of free storage for, to store all your documents. And finally, you can use Microsoft Teams to take your classes. It would take me to a website called Delve. And then if uh, this is your office profile, usually most of the contact information can be only edited by the administrator. But you can click on the camera icon here to uh, uh, my pop up was blocked. Let me allow the pop up, pop up again. So then it would allow me to edit the details of the contact information. So if I press upload picture here, we can then select a picture. So I can use browse. So in desktop, I have a demo photo already downloaded. I'm just going to use this as a demo profile pictures, but it's recommended that you use your real photograph with a passport size photograph uh, that can be used to identify you. So I'm just going to double click it and then press upload to add the photo. So once the photo is uploaded, you can see a preview here and then you can press save and close all to add your photo. So then it, it might take some time to take the change effect. So we, you can just close, oh, press OK and close it here. So in case if you want to also change your password, you can also go whenever uh, you click on the top right side of the uh, inside any office.com app, you can go either to your office profile to access this page or you can press my account to change your password again if you need. So you can go there and there are security settings uh, in the myaccount.microsoft.com. You can easily configure your password here by clicking on password and then use the old password and press uh, a new password if you want to update the password. So again, I'm going to go back to office.com, which is which was uh, I am already logged in using John Doe's account. So I'm I can just click on Teams here to access Microsoft Teams directly from my web browser. So that's one way of accessing Microsoft Teams. And if you are uh, pending to attend a workshop, you can use this web version of Microsoft Teams directly from your web browser. Also, it's uh, recommended that you install a desktop version of the Microsoft Teams. So once the Microsoft Teams is uh, loaded, it would again show you some introductory words that it would uh, bring your teams together. You can use one on one chat with any members of your organization. You can connect through online meetings with anyone. You can share files, notes, apps and everything here. And uh, this just you can press let's go to open enter the Microsoft Teams uh, account. So now if you want to install Microsoft Teams in your uh, computer, you can press this um, icon. It's on the left side, the bottommost icon, which says download desktop app. You can click this and then it would ask you to download this file, which is a teams underscore window, windows 64 uh, exe uh, binary file. And if you're using Mac or Linux, the procedure would be a little different. I'm doing this for Windows 10. So you can just click save file. Then it would start the file download. I'm using a, a, a Firefox browser, but any of the browsers such as Chrome or Edge would work for this. So once uh, the download is completed, it usually goes in the, you can access the downloads from Firefox's display progress of downloads here. So I, I'm going to just directly click this to launch the installer. So then it would give you a security warning says that this you do want to run this file for Windows 10. I'm going to click run. And then the installer of the file would start. So again, once uh, you run the installer, you need to log in with your account here. So which is John Doe.
so I'm going to give the password here and click sign in so it would ask you the option of allow my organization to manage the device this is not necessary especially if you are using your self-purchased laptop or desktop so I'm just going to uncheck this and then you I can just click either sign in to this app only or I can press OK if you allow your organization to manage your device it's possible for the admins to remotely log into your computer or even re uh, reset your computer remotely so it's not recommended to give this settings just uh, click no sign up to this app only so then it's again loading Microsoft Teams once it's loaded so it says that you're all set and enjoy using Teams so this is the overview of Microsoft Teams so you can have your Microsoft Teams account logged in here so if you click on the top right the picture hasn't changed yet so you can again set your Microsoft Teams uh, picture independently here you can click on the top right and then click on change picture and then you can click on upload a picture to change your profile picture So I'm going to go to my desktop and click on the profile picture PNG and press open. And then you can click save. And close here to see that your profile picture is updated here. So once again, it's important to have a profile picture in your team so that it's uh, easier for the meeting organizers to see who you are. And then you can see the interface of Microsoft Teams. There is the activities tab. So you'll see all the mentions and replies here once they are posted. This account hasn't uh, been added to any Teams. There is the meeting chat. You can uh, have private conversation with your institute's other faculty members or other students. You can uh, click teams here so you, if you're added to a team you uh, can see, see all the teams in your organizations or if there are some uh, public teams I can see there are environmental major transportation measures uh, these are the public teams you can see these here so and also since we are using the educational package we have the assignments tab so if you are a faculty member you can uh, select your class and then see which classes have assignments if you're a student you can see that which uh, assignments are needed to be submitted and finally you have a calendar where you would see all the meetings where you are added and you'll see the meetings uh, to join the meetings here so so when you open the calendar tab it, it by default shows you the work week where Saturday and Sunday is not visible so you need to click here and choose week to show all the days so today is a Saturday so as I can see that I have created a meeting for John Doe here so uh, this says meeting with Dr. Sajid in the calendar so there is a join button here so if you're added to a meeting you have to go to the calendar and then click on join to join the meeting so once I click it here I can turn off the video if not needed so then I can also set my microphone to mute which is very customary if you're not a presenter in a meeting always keep your microphone muted and then I can click join now to join the meeting so this is a basic meeting room in Microsoft Teams so as you can see that I can uh, individually turn on the camera here I can unmute myself and then speak if I press here and then I can use the raise hand feature to raise my hand uh, to draw the attention of the presenter there is the show conversation mode so if I can click here I can then type in any information here using the chat box I can attach a file or I can attach a picture here and then press send and finally I can click here to show the participants of the meeting so the, I am not uh, joined from the web browser where I created the meeting 
So currently in the meeting is uh, John Doe. So this is the very basic tutorial on how to you can join a meeting. So in this tutorial, I just wanted to show you how you can activate your Microsoft 365 account, how you can access the Teams, how you can install Microsoft Teams in your desktop, and how you can join a meeting of Microsoft Teams. Hope this tutorial will help you to use your Microsoft 365 account resource and Microsoft Teams and enable it to be used in your classroom, your meetings, your consultancy work, or your teamwork. So I thank you for watching this video and hope we would keep in touch.